One of the largest Veterans Day ceremonies in the Tampa Bay area is held at the Florida National Cemetery in Bushnell each year. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski shows us the message those vets received today. The Florida National Cemetery is hallowed ground, normally a place of quiet reflection. Well, on Veterans Day, it's a place of cheers and celebration as hundreds gather to honor our vets. Welcome, distinguished guests and friends, to our Florida National Cemetery's annual Veterans Day ceremony. Please News rise. Channel 8's very own Steve Jervy was master of ceremonies. We owe them everything, our freedom. Freedom is what they defended. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts, those who did not serve to those that did. This is your day. Thank you for your service. It was a day for patriotic music. And a day to exchange stories. Times certainly have changed. I can remember when I came home from uh, Vietnam, we didn't wear the uniform once we got off the airplane. We put them in the trash can because they hated the military. Roger Lachance served in three wars with nearly three decades of service. It's completely different from Vietnam. Era. The people now shake your hands instead of calling you a baby killers and that kind of stuff. It's really a change. The ceremony concluded with a 21-gun salute. Ready? Hey! And the playing of taps. A fitting tribute to those who served our country and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. More than 140,000 souls, men and women who fought for our freedom and their spouses, are laid to rest here at the Florida National Cemetery. In Bushnell, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8. At the James Haley VA Hospital, veterans were also honored. Senator Bill Nelson and Congresswoman Kathy Castor were among those who attended the annual Veterans Day ceremony. Then the vets paraded through the streets for hundreds of spectators, including children who were out of school for the holiday. They capped it all off with a lunch of hamburgers and hot dogs, and veterans say they appreciate it all. Very special, very grateful to the citizens of the community um, to show their appreciation for the service that we provided. I think it's outstanding, you know. This is what people should support, the people that have served in their country.